All right, people, welcome back. More vibing why you get two today. I apologize once again. So we're using Cosmic Key Bell, and like I said, this deck is slow. As you clearly saw, I think it was last week, where I just keep on getting my butt kicked over and over and over and over. And, you know, most majority of the time when I duel against Yang Zings, I kick their butts over and over and over and over. It's because they're so damn slow. They're just, like... I, I wish they were a little bit more aggressive. I wish they had more high... You Because the deck is, you, you have monsters that are low level, that are... I mean, low attack, are better than the ones that high attack. Like, the only one that has, that's good that has high attack is, like, Sawani. The rest of them, they don't have even have that much attack, you know? If... If it was up to me, I would give Yang Zhu some more support. I'd give them another strong monster so they can just be a little bit more aggressive because, God, this deck is just so damn passive. Like, it, maybe it's just me, but I feel like this deck is super damn passive. Like, it's just just really passive. It's like, oh, defense, 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 defense. You know, this hand is also, uh, you know, stopping with my little rant here. This hand's fantastic. This hand is flipping amazing. Like... I'm gonna get a knight, send you bell, have the limit reverse, bam. There's terror, but then I can also go summon you out to pitch these two, summon two, make a, uh, a Beals. And then I'll have the terror too, like, you know. Of course, I can't do that if I have a monster out of the field, so I'd have to wait turn for the terror, but, you know, it's kind of fantastic, you know. I tried to exploit the number generator by only running one Rota, and, hey, I got it. One Rota, one Armageddon Knight, one Foolish, like, you know, it's not the Ubelliest deck, but, hey, it gets the job done, right? Anyway. Uh, still working on that red eyes, you know. Still working on it. Uh, you guys saw uh, what I got so far for uh, on uh, webcam duels, but uh, once again, I'm thinking about changing it. Like I said, I'm, I was actually sitting down thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just step away from the Doom Shaman thing in general. Ooh, okay. The card's risky. You know, whenever someone uses this card, they always land on heads. Always. Like I don't think I've ever seen them ever land on tails and allow me to draw it. They always get it, so it might as well just be a pot of greed. I swear to God, just like, okay. Like, how come, how come I don't get the draw? I mean, it's risky. It's a 50-50, but they always land it. And it's just like, god damn. You know, maybe Tails doesn't work, because when I was playing that defense deck, you know, it would never land on what I called. I don't know. Like I said, maybe my luck, maybe I'm just unlucky. Seems like my opponent's using some kind of Exodia deck. Definitely seems like they're using some kind of Exodia deck. That sucks. They didn't commit to any plays or anything, so I guess I'll just take the duel slow. He's probably gonna block me with an attack. Like you're using some kind of exotic deck. Clearly you're just trying to drop a storm. So like I said, I really can't respect Exodia decks. There's nothing to respect, they're not even really dueling me. Like I said, this army again is probably gonna sit here to the end of the duel. You're probably just gonna sit here and draw cards, block my attack, draw cards, block my attack, so um you know. Upstart, I know, I get a thousand life points, but it doesn't matter what my life points are as long as you got Exodia to obliterate me, right? Uh -huh. get see? See? Like, can I fucking draw? Like, you're using a risky guy like this, but it doesn't matter if you always get it as long as it's part of greed, as long as you get it. You know? It's fucking stupid. Like, can I get some of that, please? I said, you're not doing me. Eventually, you'll go ahead and block my attacks. I said, see, and you're not interacting with me. I mean, I'm either, you're blocking my attack, or I'm attacking directly, or you're drawing a shit ton of cards. I said, I can't stand Exodia decks, because they're just so un uninteractive. Anyway, I was talking about the, the Red Eyes, you back up. Like I said, I'm thinking about taking on Doom Shaman and Tinker. It really just doesn't seem like they should be in now, to tell you the truth. You know, they, it, I kind of had a combo working, but it seems like I could run other, you know, more Red Eyes supporting cards, and uh, just didn't really seem like that's what I should have been doing in the deck. Uh, yeah, but you're not the best of ratings, but you have a decent rating. Like, I hosted, and you just came in here and it died. Like, hey, this is my opponent wants to do against Exodia. You need to shuffle your deck. You didn't shuffle. You didn't shuffle. Alright, good job cheating. Just <laughs> Good job cheating. You didn't shuffle. But I guess you don't care. You didn't shuffle for pot. Which is why you drew into the same card that you didn't grab. Which is the reason why you keep on doing the plays that you're doing. Like, wow. Alright, well. This game is in... Ah. Uh, ir re yeah, I said so you might as well quit because you cheated. Like, you didn't shuffle for pot. And you're using fucking scrubby-ass Exodia anyway. Like, come on. 
And I opened up really well too. Like that's probably one of the best hands I've ever opened up with this deck too. It sucked that I, it had to be squandered on such a fucking scrubby ass opponent. I apologize, people. Anyway, I was like, I was thinking about taking up the Doom Shaman and the Tinker. Like, I could run other, uh, other related cards. I really could. All right. Well, like I said I tried to exploit the number generator with Armageddon Knight at one. Like I said Armageddon Knight. What's your job? Send you bell. That's it. That's the only job. Opponent once again doesn't have an extra deck, so hope he's not using something fucking scrubby. Good luck, have fun, or using something scrubby. I said, I, there's no reason for you not to have an extra deck. Like, I don't even care if you're using fucking Exodia. Like, run an extra deck. You don't know when you'll need your toolbox. Now, take out Doom Shaman, take out the Tinker, because they just really don't see, like, I could run other Red Eyes related stuff. Uh, make more room in the extra deck, you know. Maybe try to, you know, run you bell, make summon like Terran stuff, and then try to go into the XC more, because it seems like the XC, you know, pull off plays. Oh, it's Monarchs. Ew. I hate Monarchs. I hate Monarchs with a passion. They're like, I said, you, you saw that video. I top five most handed decks. I hate what Monarchs have become. They become like a fucking stun deck. Like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this man goes, March of the Monarch, tribute it in some of the fucking, like, Vanity Spain or something. It's just like, okay, great. Awesome. Thank you. See? Nothing good comes from having no extra deck. Nothing. Or my opponent's just going to sit here and do absolutely nothing. I said, I want a duel. Not doing anything. Go. I'm gonna sit in here just attacking your fucking little little mini monarchs. Like you're gonna do something? You're gonna do something in this duel or what? Can I at least get one decent duel in this video? Because right, right now it just seems like my opponent's not even interacting with me. I want you to do something. Now what I don't want you to do is just play monster mark and tribute my goddamn set for vanity team. Because then we're not interacting at all. Right. <sighs> Duel me. No, oh, set another monster. Alright. So I just keep attacking. Well, at least you have... The interesting thing is you had these baby monarchs, but you never drew any big monarchs to even utilize the baby monarchs. It's interesting. Because usually it's the other way around. You just get clogged with big monarchs and you can't play shit. But now it seems like, you know, you got all these baby monarchs that you're setting. You know, you got some life points. You know, you could take some damage on the chin. I don't even know why you keep sending them each turn. Keep setting your freaking monsters each turn. It's like, what are you doing? No, I would make more free one room in the extra deck. I wouldn't be able to, you know. Well, that's a disciple. Okay. You know, especially some two more all disciples, which is fine. You can't do anything. Can't put some once they separate Ross Disciples, so there you go, that's fine. On the turn during your opponent's main phase or your opponent's battle phase, you can be yeah, so as you contribute to one obelisk the motherfucking tormentor. Okay. That's fine. I have Dark Hole, so you can have that. That ain't what I'm at. at. Alright. I'm thinking about going Summon Mass Chameleon, Mass Chameleon, go ahead and summon back you bell. Uh, go in synchro into like hot and hot wipe you. Yeah, that seems like a fine idea. Seems like a fine idea. And if that doesn't work, then I can always just fucking dark hole his ass. So that's totally fine. Get all that summon up with the time and just get his fucking shit wiped. It's gonna be good. Alright, help be you too. No, you too, because I would like you in the graveyard. Hot. I'll just turn you to defense. Fact. Yeah, just focus on summoning terror and then going to fix Seymour. No. Oh, okay, that's fine. Didn't you know? Didn't know you would have a black horn. That's fine. I'm not gonna dark call you this turn. There's really no point. Uh, cause I won't get tear. So I'll dark call you next turn. 
Like I said, I'm not in a hurry. Not in a hurry at all. Okay. I'm not afraid of Obelisk. I can handle him. He's, shit, as soon as I summon Terror. Man, you just can't be targeted, which is fine. Okay, I guess. Yeah, so I might focus on that. I might just try to focus on that and take out the Doom Shaman and secret stuff like that. Yeah. The only thing is that, you know, I'm trying to work on the consistency of the, you know, the red eye, so, you know, maybe run, like, take them out, maybe run cards like, you know, call an oasis to summon back red eyes, then activate, you know, return to red eyes. Okay. Activate, like, return of red eyes and, uh, you know, summon and make an Ixie. You can't have that, that what I'm mad at. In Infernoid you bell deck? Ah, uh, don't like milling. And then and and with you bell on the field, I can't summon any infernoids. That's the ad uh, see, there there you go. I I literally just popped a a, a hole in your plan right there. You know what? I'm gonna see if you're gonna kill my Yubel. And if you don't, then I'll dark hole you next turn. Yeah. Guys, I'd rather summon terror and then dark hole, so. We don't wanna attack you, huh? Exactly, but What are you talking about? What? You know the bell form is raised by level, alright, so if you don't want to attack me, I'll just duck hole your ass. Fine, fine, I'll do it, fine. Shit, I'm in terror. That's not an inherent summon, so you can't black horn me. Okay. Wow, so, um, thank you for making my terror, but pretty much invincible. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. What do I have in here? Hot. Hot was never summoned properly, so I can't summon hot. Right? Damn, I just want to summon something so I can start getting up with my yings in creation. Yeah, I'll do that. So, it doesn't matter who I summon. Because I'm summoning you just to send all to the nightmare. I said, but thank you for making, you know, because that works for both my monsters, so. Yeah, sure, you're obelisk, but, you know, my tear. Uh. Okay. Go ahead. I'm yeah, just trying it like that. Seems like that might work. And you know, then just the red eyes things. I don't really like Black Summer Legend. I don't get. I don't get the you know the gist of summoning a red eyes from the deck. I'd rather send the grave red eyes to the graveyard and revive it. You know, than just summon it from the back. Use my normal summon to summon the red eyes. Like really, never been a big fan of that. That's fine. I can flip it right back up. So. Now, if you kill it when it's face down, I don't get all to nightmare. Nope, you're just gonna do that. Okay. What a fucking spectacular play that was. Alright, I guess I'll just wipe you. Wipe you, get effect effect. Yep, it seems like a chill idea to me. Wait, does this say target? Oh, wait, 
You couldn't even do that. Can I be shot? Uh, uh, can I be targeted to shot? Oh, wait, you couldn't even do that. Wait, you couldn't even target care to summon your monarch. But whatever. Effect and uh, Scylla effect and creation. Yeah, whatever. You couldn't. You couldn't do that. You can. You can't talk to me. Which is awesome. Yeah, you can't target me. You can't target me or destroy me by card effect. It's awesome. So thank you for making my tear pretty much invincible. Thank you for that. Thank you. Isis, Misawani. And go ahead and go into. I don't want Baxi. I want Bills. I want Bills. Unless that's a black coin, this is pretty much a game. Oh, this is gone too. Because Monster was removed from the field. Oh, you do have another black coin. That is fine. Okay, then I'm technically still in battle phase, but you know what? It's fine. Will you please stop black horning? <laughs> no, let's end this with Goyo Garden. Because why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? See how useful revival is? That's what I'm saying. Maybe I need to implement. I can't speak right now. Implement. In, 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 implement. <laughs> that in uh yeah. 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 He couldn't. He couldn't target me with his monitor because level five, level tens are higher. Cannot. Yeah. Include both sides of the fill. There's eleven. Yeah. You know, that's what I don't understand about that guy using. You know, saying about uh, you know, infernoids. Like, well, a, I hate melon. So that that that's already you know, like kind of a no-no. But infernoids, if you have like, what is it like total level eight or total level ten? Actually, you know what? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, it's level 8. So literally, if I have Yubel, Terror, Ultimate on the field, I can't summon any Infernoids. Because the total level of the effect monsters on the field has to be lower than 8. So no, that's not going to work. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. And I said this deck will be taken off soon. It seemed like it worked fine today, but like I said, I didn't really duel against any good opponents. So there you go. If I'm going to duel against anybody who's using even a remotely decent deck, I would have got crushed. So I'm going to continue working on Red Eyes Ebell, and eventually it'll be here on Vitamin Y. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow using Supervised Ebell. Alright people, thanks for watching.